What's going on guys? Quincy Moreland here. You um, probably have already heard about the Brianna Taylor incident uh, that happened and normally I'd get on here and I'd be doing comedy and uh, you know vlogs and other things but this actually kind of really hits home because it could have been me. It could have been anybody. It could have been you. Um, black, white, Mexican, Asian, doesn't matter. Um, and so a lawsuit has now been filed um, after the U.S. health worker, uh, Brianna Taylor, was shot dead by police. And so back in March, um, Brianna Taylor, 26 years old, and she's an emergency uh, medical technician, EMT, was shot eight times when officers entered her apartment in uh, Louisville on March 13th. Um, they were executing a search warrant as a part of a drug investigation, but no drugs were found on the property. And the lawsuit um, accuses the officers of wrongful death and excessive force. It was filed um, by Mrs. Taylor's family last month and says that the officers were not looking for her or her partner, um, but for an unrelated su suspect, but for an unrelated suspect who was already in custody, someone that was already locked up, someone who was already in custody um, and did not live in the apartment complex. So if we stop right there, she minding her business, doing her own thing, and you know, her boyfriend is there also, and then the, the cops, you know, come bombard and knocking on the door. Now, it, it says that the, boy, the boyfriend said they didn't knock on the door, but the cops are saying in a press conference that they did knock on the door and they announced themselves. Um, but a lawyer for Mrs. Taylor's partner, Kenneth Walker, said he fired in self-defense because the officers did not identify themselves and he believed they were breaking in. So if that's me and that's my house, and I hear somebody breaking in, and you know, I got a right to bear arms, and I, and I got, you know, protection, I might do the same thing, you know, especially if I don't hear you knocking and announcing yourself, and then come to find out the person you was looking for was already in police custody, and they, they don't even live in the apartment, so it's like, what was you even doing there? You know, it just makes you feel like, people i know this is black and african-american but you know i'm not trying to play the race card here but it just makes you feel like people are unsafe because of a rush uh, a rush to judgment you know i mean what can you say what can i say i don't know what to say all i know is if you or me was in that house and the same thing happened this is what we got to look at this is the type of stuff we need to you know be mindful of you know when it comes to you know just being able to speak up on these topics it could have been me you know and so wh where do you go from here where do we go from here you know um the lawsuit alleges that the police then fired more than 20 rounds of ammunition into the home after her boyfriend grabbed protection and started firing um because of uh because of you know who he thought was breaking in and of course the department declined to answer questions you know um on that and she posed brianna posed no threat to the officers and did nothing to deserve to die at their hands um and that's what the lawsuit reads that she was an emt now, can you imagine i mean you know they don't even know who's in this house and you know even if they did you know still just the fact that they just shots were blindly fired shots were blindly fired by the officers all throughout brianna's home um, and the family is seeking compensation and damages um, and has hired a prominent civil rights lawyer to represent them. So, hey, guys, you know, I just want to get on here and say um, it's sad. It really is sad because as a black person, I'm not saying they were targeting black people, but it just seems like, you know, lately, you know, I mean, of course, different races die also, but uh, it just kind of hurts. Yeah.